What is the role of a spiritual guru? The role of the spiritual guru is to awaken respect in you for Devi. That's all. If you are able to do that, then she takes care of you. Guru can also relax. And the way she takes care of you, you will be of benefit to the Guru and Guru will be of benefit to you. That's the role of a spiritual Guru. Devi is the primordial force that created the universe. So you need to start respecting her, Maryada. Start respecting her rules and laws. And then she keeps on giving knowledge. You have to develop Icha, Kriya and Jnana under the guidance of a Guru. Icha means purpose, Jnana means knowledge, Kriya means power. Knowledge, purpose and power are the three things that a guru can help you to get and that's all. If a guru is not helping you get these three things, he's not a guru, he's just a coach or some kind, a yoga coach or yoga teacher or um, yoga graduate, okay? He's learnt yoga in university, not from a guru. Okay. What are the signs to look for in a guru? The Guru should be giving you purpose, power and knowledge. If he's giving neither of these after two interactions, if they're giving neither of these, don't go. Simple. What happens after we find our Guru? You get purpose, knowledge and power. <laughs> These three you get. You, after you find your Guru, actually what happens is Guru tests you. He says, implement some Devi Maryada and show me. If you're unable to do that, then Guru won't even accept you as a student. If the Guru has accepted you as a student, your life is done. After that, you will get purpose, you will get power, you will get knowledge, in that order. From purpose, you have to exercise your power to get knowledge. You have to take action to get knowledge. Okay, so purpose, power of action, knowledge. Purpose, power of action, knowledge. Knowledge grows, purpose grows. Then action grows, knowledge grows. Knowledge grows, purpose grows. Action grows, knowledge grows. That's how it goes. Okay, good. Hmm. If you don't have a guru, how to get a guru? Okay. Most simple thing to do is go on a Monday to a Shiva temple, take a lot of ash and put it on your forehead and pray to Shiva and say, please send me my spiritual guru. That's all. You do this once on a Monday. That's it. And forget about it, you will find your guru. Simple. So that's the end of this guru lesson. <laughs>